first this one's top and uh, before this let me tell you on destroy is the method that, that that may or may not be called right then it could be changing it could be changing uh, because of uh, because the on destroy can be called at any time after on stop but not before on stop so on destroy can be called when you when this particular activity want completely to get destroyed from the memory so then this on destroy calls and then you can never see that it, it doesn't even present in the memory so on regime is fine and on pause paste it here on stop pasting it here on destroy pasting it here right so this is now the program that we actually did and for this we don't need any tab or we don't need any kind of view we just need to call them uh, just need to run this and everything comes in this view in the lockout we can find everything in the lockout fine uh, let me run that make this a big screen just before that let me clear it and run I'm gonna run it some time so my device works yeah. and there you see I could see and I think uh, we better see that in a different view or just putting this to E so that we can see that everything in a different view instead of I, don't, I just want to make segregate them out of the device logs so that it will be easy for us to I'm sorry something else happened okay. I can change the view here to error so you can see only those logs instead of whole logs all logs so you see the very first method that got called is on create and then on start and then on resume but you didn't see that uh, the on pause has it it called the very first method that was called is on create and then on start got called and then on resume yeah and on resume and then so when I close that application or when I'm actually uh, remove that from the view or if this on pause now what I did is I just close the application then the on pause and on stop get called but not on destroy if you see there on destroy is not the method that actually got called now but if I do something like removing it from the background processes even then I actually removed it from the background process but uh, you still didn't see that on destroy method has been called so it is not left or it is not something that a uh, developer or user can do instead it happens when the OS thinks that it needs some memory so it wants to get flushed out of the memory or it has to clear the unused memory locations for a long time anyhow we're gonna see this memory management in android in a very uh, very clearly in the next tutorials so you would understand that very clearly because it is one of the wonderful and uh, uh, very interesting way that the memory handling uh, always to be at least for me so let's get back to the business and on create is the very first method that gets called and on start is the method that called after on create so when the view has been created on start gets called and if you want to do something that uh, before writing or before 
you know if you want to start something before or it could be some data to be populated you can write it in on starter on presume or sorry on create itself so activity had no problem that when the view after creating the view you can directly run some kind of operations it could be async task or it could be a background service whatever you want to do you can do it on on create or on start or on resume so on resume is something that after it calls after on start so you can do something there or and coming to on pause and on stop they get called when this particular view or where this particular activity has been changed that could be either it could be minimized to minimized so there is not something called closing the application because the closing application doesn't exist because even though you click on the home button and you go back to your home screen your application is not closed let me tell you that we are actually using the uh, some wrong word in a in, in a different situation so we are not closing the application we are minimizing the application that is why it presents it is present in the background and where you can open it directly again uh, from where you actually stopped it for example if it, let me tell you uh, you are actually typing something or you are chatting with your one of your friends and you had a phone call now without ever any kind of notice to you your phone call shifts up or your phone call screen comes up and you the view which you, have, you were writing will go to the background so that is not closed it got minimized the same thing happens when you click on your home home button so when you click on your home button your application is not closed instead you are minimizing the application which means now it goes to on pause and on stop so os can be can remove this at any point of time it feels if it thinks that this is particular activity or this is particular object because for memory it is always uh, it always considers everything as objects so it always sees whether this particular object is being or is being very most recently used or less recently used so where you call an you cache and we talk about later anyhow but where you actually using it most recently it doesn't actually remove it or it doesn't actually destroy that particular object from the memory location instead it will be calling or in, it will be clearing the um, or it will clearing the activity that is least recently used and was in the it was in the background for so long time so it will be if it when it, this happens only when it still needs it still needs some memory usage or it had some uh, use of some memory uh, for for assigning it to another applications or assigning for the newly coming application then it actually clear it off so this is how the memory management in a one single line but if we talk about this in the same iOS, it's again a different, different kinds of uh, way that has does. If you want to check it, you can simply check. You put your application something in the background and come after two days, or you simply uh, walk in the. Uh, you forget about that and see after two days or one day. Uh, even though you didn't clear your background applications, your applications get cleared whenever your phone needs some amount of memory to be allocated to uh, allocated to newly coming application or for any other purpose but in the same if you take the same scenario in ios in ios if there is an application in the background it doesn't get cleared even though you come after one year so we have actually seen that very recently the application stays in the background as much time user is re user removed it so uh, i'm not completely getting into this memory management in ios we are only considered with, uh, concerned with the android platforms and make this thing um, a, a more, you know more um, easy for us so this is the activity life cycle and now i'm going to create a button here excuse me i'm going to create a button here in this activity and when i click on that button now i'm going to create a fragment so let me show you first how a fragment is created so fragment is no different from a class but i'm going to create a fragment new and java class
so I'm gonna give it uh, fragment A I'm sorry, fragment A creating it yes fragment day got created and in order to make sure that this is a fragment but not an activity so I'm gonna extend fragment so if you see when I trying to select it I told you that it's coming from the package Android dot app so I'm gonna create it so the automatically the import statement has come so this is the uh, one of the best thing that uh, you can see for a pre-compiled uh, things of pre-compiled IDEs and next I'm gonna say or I'm gonna create so public void create and also so this is not the way you actually load your views because you load your views and on create when that was an activity but when it is a fragment now it's different so you have to do that in on create view so I'm doing this here so in order to explain that or uh, we have seen that previously on create view will actually have three params one is a inflator or layout inflator which help you which will help you to inflate a layout and a view group is a container where your view get um, your, where your view goes and sits somewhere and bundle instance we already uh, spoke about that where the present state of your application is is going to save and on create view is specifically for fragments it doesn't have he doesn't have this on create view for activity but the main very crucial view that gets created is on on create view so after on create and uh, here i'm going to load some uh, layout so before that i has to create a layout so let me go to layout folder now and i'm in the layout folder and i'm going to create new layout <coughs> the office was fine I'm gonna create fragments view so that's what the name I'm gonna give it so yes I had it here so this is the view which had nothing inside it but of course I'm gonna put something some text view here let me pull it out uh, some large text view yeah here it is this is fragment this is fragment layout gravity center there it is so it comes to the center let's put in the view in the middle and that's better center vertical aspect thanks let's see it's coming let's use gravity there it is so now it is in the middle I'm not going to style it too much but here just saying it this is a fragment and uh, let's get back to the business here so in the here we always on on create view will return you the view or return you the root, root view where you inflate a view so when you when your fragments get created you should say that it first creates your view or it first makes your view ready on on create view and it is written to you so that you it is visible on your application so here what I'm gonna do 
is Sorry, it's not root view. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call it created view and give it a root view name. So where you are gonna see you had inflator dot inflate and you have to give the layout name here that we created just created. So it's going to be fragments view. The view group you has to attach this uh, layout to is to the container. So whenever you had your a fragment you'll have a container by default and an inflator by default in on your create view. The only thing just you need to do is use them put your view into that particular container and uh, you just keep it. So as of now I'm putting this status false and now the find view by id in manifest oh sorry in the activity is a bit different from the fragments so I can tell you for example if I go to this activity main um, I'm not going to put this stuff here I'm just gonna say this change this to linear layout instead of this okay it's a normal layout let me copy that here from here yeah that's better without any errors so instead of this text view I'm gonna put some button here take a button that could be any button that's in the center not bad so go to fragment so that's what I'm gonna give it and this is a button wrap and let's put that in the center gravity center vertical no, it's not coming okay maybe wanna put it match parent I don't think so no that's not the way to be center vertical as well here now okay that's okay let's let's put that there itself no worries so let the button id be button itself so when i want this particular button to come into or when you are initializing that button in your activity you do, you basically does in this way so I'm going to right go button equals to find view by id or dot id dot button so that is what it is and uh, you're gonna cast it so this is how you actually do uh, you know initialization in your activity but when you come to a fragment it's a bit different it, it is a lot more it's similar to that uh, but it's very very less uh, changes you just need it here so I'm taking a text view TX or TV and let's say now you can't simply say find view by ID you, you don't actually get it anywhere you can't get it so how or how you need to do it so the view here is super dot on create view can be change it to root view because you are inflating the whole layout into here so now what you have to do you have to say your view is actually present now understand that your present layout fra fragments dot view layout has been inflated 
and has been initialized into a view called root view variable this root view variable so you have to say root view dot find view by id there it comes and you have to say hot dot id dot and what of the text view we had i think that is it let's cross check that once it's not text view it's text view 2 and i'm copying the same here but along with that I has to cast it so instead of using the find view by id because previously the whole view or the the whole view is actually being occupied by the activity and this fragment is taking the parent uh, as an activity and when it comes here now you knew you need a new view but not the old view so for that you has to uh, make sure that you had this particular thing ready so this is how you actually do it and for example as i told you whenever you need some uh, or in or you need to access some resources from your project or that could be either from this drawables res or yes folders it could be from drawable or layout or from menu mid map values from anywhere you have to use the context of not with fragment you have to use the context of activity so how do i know uh, or how do i get the fragments context instead of using fragments context so you know if you use simply this this is not going to be activities context but this is going to be fragments context so how to get that so in order to get that you can use get activity dot now we had everything so as i showed you get resources dot get string or dot string dot app name and i'm gonna you know put the same thing into a string and give it to a uh, give it to the text view let's do that somewhere else instead of here let's let's talk about some other methods and also go go to that so after on create view you had other methods so if you can uh, you know um, see you had like on attach method and uh, which is callback invoked after your fragment is associated with its activity so on attach is is an actually a method that is callback or that is invoked after your fragment is associated with your activity so when your particular fragment is associated with your activity then this on attach is called and the activity reference is passed to you and you can use it to use it there so as if you don't see any of this on act on attach or on um, you know other methods were in call you can't say that they were not called at all so you will not be accessing the activity like say get activity or something there because if i said get activity then it is it is already called on attach so which is happening implicitly but not explicitly so let's create all other um, views as well or all other methods as well so you had another um, method called on view create which is again a callback and this one is called right after on create view so the present method when you had on create view is being created so the name itself is telling you that on view created so when the view is created in this method or on create view then this on view created callback method is actually called or invoked but before any saved state that has put into this ui the view object passed is the same view object that got written from the on create view so if i say on on create if you had any ui elements that you're going to talk about so that is hap that is happening um, only after on create view creating a view for example let me write you this method and show it to you in one instance so on view created so when i said view created on view created it has 
two params one is view and another is bundle instance which again the bundle instance is saved or bundle saved instance is the same thing which saves the instance of that application uh, from this method if that application goes uh, to the background from this method it will be saving the its state here so that when you come back it will be uh, you can use the same bundle to restore the data so in the same way it had another param called view so what is this view view is that view that has been created on on create view which means root view so that view here so if you want to call or if you want to uh, it's generally this way we actually do instead of um, initializing any um, new variables or any any parts of your particular layout can be initialized here instead of there as well so it's okay there you can do it there in the on create view if you don't want to use any new methods and you just want to show the view direct right then so you can create on create view and you can forget about all other methods but it, it is always a good way that you are going to put all the necessary methods in yours so that it will be easy for you uh, in the later process too so that will be very clear here so let then so this view is this view so what are the view that created on create view that is the view and after this let me write the log for each one in the same way that we created for um, activity I'm gonna create public static string tag name equals to or let me put tag only equals to fragment a I'm giving it a name called fragment a that's all so I'm gonna put log here and here and here and what are the methods I'm gonna call so let me copy it right here from here so because it's the same name and the same thing here yes I have to import it and then later here so but it's not on create it's on created and this is not this has to be here because this is on create and this is on create view method similarly you had uh, if you want to see when is on attached called and when is on detached called or when is um, stop or pause start resume everything everything so you can simply I'm, I'm actually uh, trying to um, take the uh, or give you the most important methods of fragment but not each and every method in the life cycle so I'll be putting one or two uh, two or three four methods more in order to explain you for the rest of the methods I'm gonna take on attach on attach so this is a deprecated method but I'm gonna take on attach context Sorry. so what actually on attach is going to do here is gonna give you the context that comes from activity so this context this particular method is called when your particular fragment is now tied up with the activity so or you could say associated with the activity then you see this particular thing has been called to, to the to the you know activity and then you had on start so these are same as that and also home resume same as that on detach that we have to talk about and on destroy view so on destroy view is the another method that is very specific to this fragments but not for activity and but not for the activity so what does on uh, you know it's not something that on destroy view is present for activity it is 
uh, it is present here because you had on create view so you had a method called on create view so as you has to have something to destroy that view so it is used or this particular uh, method is used for that particular uh, scenario and then let's see let's put this method this calls this logs everywhere first here here and here and here and later change the method names We just has created the fragment, but we didn't see how to come from an activity to a fragment. So let's see, we, we have seen that we actually come to a fragment by simply uh, using the fragment manager and uh, you know the fragment transaction to replace a fragment and come in. So let's see how you're going to do that. And I'm going to do that on this go button click. So go button dot set sorry set on click listener. I'm gonna give it this and then make the implement on click listener and get on click method. Yeah, got it. So here I'm going to write something that will take this uh, or, uh, I mean that will tie up the fragment or which will call the on create view and all the methods and there in natural or in, in, in the top level you can say that you're just going to see the view of this fragment on your activity. So activity is not gone somewhere but activity acts something like a parent view and this e acts as a sub activity on that activity so that you see fragment A is coming on that. So how you gonna load this particular fragment inside a uh, fragment from an activity that is using the fragment transaction so you have to first take the fra fragment transaction and uh, this is I'm gonna create a variable for that say it FT or something you want to take it take and uh, I'm creating an object to new fragment transaction but um, it needs generally fragment manager 